one comes from Jenny, and she's from Milton uh, here in Ontario. I take vitamins daily, and I'm wondering if I should look out for specific vitamins for my skin. It's a good question. Very good question. Because it's all about, it is all about our skin care. When it comes down to it, that is, you know, what our beauty is based mm -hmm. on. And um, getting vitamins in there is so essential. Yeah, so we take vitamins. We do, Internally, orally, of yeah. course. These aren't mine. These are for 50 plus. So they're they're oh, the clearly not yours. From someone. No. Yeah, who knows who those belong to. <laughs> but there are specific vitamins for us, a multivitamin. We're going to talk about multivitamins for the face or okay. for our skin, actually, not just for the face, for our skin in general. Right. Now, it all kind of revolves around the whole antioxidant thing. And, you know, people have heard about antioxidants in the foods that they eat, uh, juices that they drink. Mm -hmm. It's all about warding off what are called free radicals on the skin. Yeah. And a really good way to show that is you know when you have an apple yes. and you chop it up and you it's know if it's brown. exposed to the air to oxygen it goes kind of brown and I bet right. your kids wouldn't eat it because it's brown right yeah, they would they're be like, picky like that. yeah they wouldn't they would okay, like it let's so. just get a shot of this so brown. you show the brown brown apple okay sort of so what did you oxidized apple what did you do to this apple well so that this it's not one brown? this one isn't that nice yeah. this one's been immersed in lemon juice okay and what the citric acid what that will do that's a source of vitamin c and that just like it's doing with the apple is warding off oxidative stress to the skin uh. so this is sort of a good way to illustrate that that if you use something with vitamin c daily it's going to help ward off that stress that occurs to the skin through pollution in the air mm -hmm. through uv light you know, we're always getting stressed to our skin, so it's okay. a, a good way to do that. You'll find vitamin C in many products. Um, it's usually called out on the label. Yeah. You want to look for pure vitamin C. It'll probably say ascorbic acid or citric acid on the ingredient listing, and but it'll say good. vitamin C right on the on the pack, okay, and perfect. that is very very good. Now another vitamin, and by the way, I sort of put a source of these, you know, through the foods we eat too. Yeah, well, just um, smart. Because foods are medicine, <laughs> sure. right? Sure. Now another good one is vitamin E, and a lot of people have heard about that it is also an antioxidant mm -hmm. it helps to condition our skin which is why it's in a body product here I brought bought a body moisturizer yeah. because you want to help protect your body skin this is the perfect time of year you know our skins getting drier you want to look after it and you want to protect it as well from the harsh elements right so vitamin E that's vitamin E okay. so uh, they are found in almonds among other things yeah. and they are found in, in body products or skin facial skin products as well so look for that in your skin look products that if you're too. looking for that extra oil. Okay, we'll do a switcheroo here. Alrighty. Now, I'm a big fan of vitamin A. Now, vitamin A kind of takes a different approach. Vitamin A might be known as a retinoid or retinol. Yeah. Very good for helping to replenish the skin, stimulating, uh, stimulate skin renewal, yeah. and also to help from an anti-aging point of view. Mm -hmm. So often you'll find products that have A, C, and E all combined in them, or you might go for a product that really pushes the vitamin A on its own. But this is superb for anti-aging. I've got carrots sitting there. They're a good source of vitamin A uh, internally eaten. There's many other sources too, but that is a very good um, option to go for, especially if you're worried about lines, wrinkles, just reviving the look of your skin. It's good for regeneration. Now, mm -hmm. if you see a product and it has A, C, and E in it, it. Is it okay? Because some people are saying multivitamins have too much of something. Does it downplay the effectiveness of each vitamin if there are too many in one well, product? Well, that's a good question. It may mean that they're using a lower concentration of each of them uh, mm -hmm. by packing in a multivitamin. Right. And that's why if you want to go for anti-aging specifically, you may want to go for that vitamin A product it's in itself. Or like, you know, just like when you're taking vitamins, you may mm -hmm. target certain vitamins for certain needs, or you go for a multivitamin for ease. Okay. There's one last one here. It's yeah. vitamin B. I'm actually showing a a makeup product it's a CC cream and you know with the whole BB cream CC cream thing yeah. it's about multiple benefits in one product mm -hmm. what this will do is actually enhance skin oxidization okay. o oxygenation I think it is sorry easy for me to say which those will are, allow like, your other yeah, vitamins to work 25 even better point words right there I they're know. big ones and I'm tripping over it but uh, <laughs> the point is it will actually allow your other ingredients to work more effectively so that's okay. why I sort of put it on the end here because it's a good uh, added ingredient to help boost everything else. Very nice. Well, I guess it's always good to use a combination of the healing foods and the products that have those healing foods in them to get Absolutely. the best results. And if there's any interesting way that you add vitamins to your skin, let us know on Twitter. Why not? We'll Go chat on. about it. Tweet at CityLineCA, uh, at 
Tracy City Line and hashtag at City Line. Send us your interesting ways to add vitamins into your skin and keep you looking fresh. Speaking of looking fresh, the makeovers. Oh. Ooh, we are revealing them after the break. Stay with us.